In this work, we learn to propose not only stable, but also reachable six degree of freedom pose. Traditional grasping approaches often ignore if the pose is reachable. As shown in this figure, depending on the approaching direction and the location of the grasping point, the selected pose may not have a valid trajectory in real world. We would like to estimate grasping reachability so the robot can make more intelligent grasping decisions. We propose a deep learning based method to estimate both stability and reachability. The objects are randomly arranged within the view of the camera. The input point cloud P is first planar segmented to obtain object point cloud P prime. Our grasp sampling algorithm then uniformly samples n grasp poses over P prime. We voxelized the point cloud and transformed the voxel grid V according to each grasp pose, so this information is embedded. The 3D CNN evaluates each voxel grid and gives stability predictions based on its learned features. The reachability predictor evaluates the grasp pose X. We then multiply the two scores and choose the best grass pose to execute. We performed three experiments in simulation. The standard scenario tests if our approach works with multiple objects. The challenging scenario triples the workspace density and tests if our approach is able to generalize to dense clutter. 3D CNN learns to choose more isolated objects, such as those on the top or the peripherals. The reachability predictor effectively rules out unreachable approaching directions, such as those toward the robot when the object is on the far side of the workspace. The ablation study demonstrates the effectiveness of our reachability predictor. The robot is able to intelligently choose reachable grasp poses without any workspace and approaching direction constraints. We replicate the simulated challenging scenario in real world with the Franca Emika Panda robot arm. Please note we didn't perform any fine tuning to show the same to real invariants of 3D CNN. We observed the same grasping pattern as in simulation. Our approach is able to achieve 75% accuracy in this dense cluttered scenario. In real robot ablation study, our algorithm is also effective in targeting more reachable objects in the center cluster. We also show our system's generalization capability by testing with novel objects that have never been seen by the robot before. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you for your interest.